that familiar German fairy tale, Hansel and Gretel, where the sibling pair hide away in a house made of candy and cakes and outsmart that oh so nasty witch. Hey guys, I'm Nadja Hill with this coming to the screen exclusive. In theaters now, you can get your fairy tale fill with a twisted new take on the now grown up pair in Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. The film has a gritty, amusing take on how the pair do some witch hunting pest control. You'll see body parts flying mixed with some kick butt fight scenes and a new adult rated version of the fairy tale. Famke Jensen tells us how the film has a Quentin Tarantino type feel and why this type of movie is so killer in 3D. It has a little bit of um, a modern take on the traditional story and it's yeah it's very interesting and, and fun and it has a Tarantino-esque kind of feel to it. It seems very perfectly suited for having, you know, 3D witches. Jeremy Renner and Gemma Arterton tells us their take on the film and how a little too much sugar caused their characters to end up being some Kill Bill witch hunters. I think it was much more of a throwback to um, Raiders of the Lost Ark mm -hmm. or Indiana Jones, where, you know, it's his action adventure movies, his fantasy movies. We remember the children, you know, these innocent little children, and then something very sort of traumatic happens to them, you know. One eats too much candy and then develops diabetes, I love that. <laughs> they also tell us what their all time favorite fairy tales were as kids. Check it out. I always really liked, there were a couple, I really, really liked Sleeping Beauty, and I really liked The Princess and the Pea. I remember Dr. <laughs> Seuss. I'm Nadja Hill. To see the full interviews with the cast, click the box right here. Or to see our next or previous segment, click these arrows. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking the box below. What are the, your friends and family, how have they reacted to you becoming, you know, this, this star? You, have you seen your friends treat you differently or your family treat you any differently? Um, I haven't seen them since, like, the nomination, but... Um, before then, they would just be like, oh, you came back, huh? You came back, you left me, huh? Didn't bring me any. So it's just like, it's like that, but I'm not.